What does a mosque and a temple make? I'll tell you. Math. Well, today I'm going to tell you. Number one, Silk Serum is all about having a two dimensional. All right, folks. So today we're going to be talking about the three most important theorems of vector calculus. So, what are those three most important theorems? Number one, we have Green Serum. Number two, we have Stoke Serum. And number three, we have Divergent Serum. And now, I'll tell you what all three of these mean. Number one, Stokes theorem is all about how do you have a two-dimensional region in the plane that can be orientable. Now, what's an example of an orientable region? Well, any region works as long as it's closed by a two-dimensional curve. An example of a non-orientable surface might be a Mobius strip because you have a strip that has a top and a bottom, but when connected, it transforms it into a Mobius strip that does no longer longer have a top and a bottom now what can we talk about in terms of our next concept which is stokes theorem what stokes theorem does is it takes divergent theorem which exists only on the xy plane transforms it into three dimensions an actual three-dimensional surface okay now what this allows us to do is find the mass of an object that might uh, exist in three dimensions but it also might help us find the flow or the flux and when we come to the final concept and what is that final concept it's the divergence theorem the divergence theorem what does it tell us well what it tells us is how to find the flux through some kind of a solid now what's an example of a solid right is this pen is an example of a cylindrical solid this pen for example if you were to find the flux through this pen what you would have to do is convert from cartesian coordinates back into spherical coordinates all right so spherical coordinates aren't that easy to convert to but if you check out our latest video on Barry science lab you can easily find out how to do that how do you actually convert something into cylindrical coordinates now if you want to convert into cylindrical coordinates you have to find out how you're dealing with your symmetrical surface all right and that's what divergence theorem is all about it's about solids it's about surfaces it's about flux but what about cylindrical objects like that pen well cylindrical uh, pens and objects and surfaces they're all about how do you convert into cylindrical coordinates all right and to understand cylindrical coordinates we must understand symmetrical objects all right folks so we'll see you next time and thanks for watching barry science lab